During an interview with Laura Ingram, Donald Trump floated a conspiracy theory that months earlier had already been debunked on Facebook. And it was his effort to smear Joe Biden. So let's take a listen to what he had to say about Biden. And then I'll give you more on this ridiculous conspiracy theory. I don't even like to mention Biden because he's not controlling anything. Who, who do you they think is pulling him. Biden's strings? Is it former Obama People officials? that you've never heard of. People that are in the dark shadows, people that- oh, What are, does that mean? That sounds like conspiracy theory, dark shadows. No, what is people that? people that you haven't heard of. They're, they're people that are on the streets. They're people that are controlling the streets. He then elaborated a little more on these people, uh, including this notion that uh, these uh, shadowy ninjas showed up in a plane and you know, are trying to cause trouble. So let's uh, hear the details on that. We had somebody get on a plane from a certain city this weekend. And in the plane, it was almost completely loaded with, with thugs wearing these dark uniforms, black uniforms with gear and this and that. They're, they're on a plane. Where's the where's this? I'll tell you sometime, but I, I, it's under investigation right now. But they came from a certain city, and this person was coming to the Republican National Convention. And there were like seven people on the plane like this person, and then a lot of people were on the mm -hmm. plane to do big damage. They were coming from planning for Washington. Yeah, this was all. This is all happening. Yeah. Okay. So Anna's going to tell you what he's actually referring to, uh, and but there are no snakes on a plane, and there are no thugs on a plane. Uh, it's all imaginary, totally made up. Uh, I was pretty sure that Rick Ross was running the streets, but now I realize it's the people in the dark shadows. Uh, and uh, and so, look, we make fun because the president is mentally incompetent and a total lunatic. Uh, he's just Alex Jones on steroids. He's worse than Alex Jones, and he runs the country. Uh, so Alex Jones, every once in a while, sends his thugs to go intimidate people like the parents of Sandy Hook uh, victims. Donald Trump does it on a mass scale. Oh, a Rittenhouse, he murdered people in was in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Great. Uh, I'm going to call it self-defense. Now, everybody who wants to go kill left-wingers in protests, I'm calling it self-defense. I'm calling it self-defense. Uh, okay, well, do you have any evidence of the left-wing being terrorists? As you call them over and over and over again? Yeah, there's thugs on a plane, uh, and and uh, somebody saw him going to the Republican convention. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. But he's an SNL character from like the 1980s that John Lovitz used to play, and and now he's the president, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were wearing uh, all black. That's what they were wearing, and uh, and friends saw it. Uh, we're uh, investigating it. Hey, listen, if you're a Trump supporter, are you really that dumb? Are you? I'm serious. It's like a literal question. Like, how unintelligent can you be that you believe that story? So Anna, tell them where that story actually comes from. So it actually matches a viral Facebook post from months ago that was debunked. Not just debunked by Facebook, but officials had to come out and debunk it. So the claim about the flight matches a viral Facebook post from June 1st that falsely claimed at least a dozen males got off a plane in Boise from Seattle dressed head to toe in black. The post by an Emmett Idaho man warned residents to quote, be ready for attacks downtown and residential areas and claimed one passenger had a tattoo that said Antifa America on his arm. Now the post was shared 3000 times, quickly became popular among far right militia because we have severe mental illness in this country that goes undiagnosed and untreated. Um, and one post claimed that Antifa had sent a plane load of people and that uh, the uh, Payette County Sheriff's Office confirmed it. Well, the County Sheriff's Office had to release a statement insisting that the viral rumor was false information. Yeah, and from time to time this pops up again since that original post on Facebook. And so a bunch of idiots showed up in the middle of Montana ready for an Antiva invasion. But of course, so it's funny because these morons show up. They're like, oh my God, where's the guys in black, man? Will Smith, where are you? Tommy Lee Jones, I see you, man. Right, so these freaking lunatics show up. The problem is, it's funny because they're so stupid. And if you're in that right wing cadre, you're so unbelievably dumb and the whole country's laughing at you, okay? But they show up with weapons looking for people to attack. 
oh god damn that's dangerous. That's incredibly dangerous. And our lunatic unhinged president goes on national TV, repeats that rumor from months ago, but now changes the details to they were coming to the RNC. The RNC was where? I kind of in Washington. They were coming to Washington, really? Where were they coming from? A friend, a friend says they were coming. I can't talk about it now, but a friend. I mean, oh, come on, man. That's why I keep calling you stupid. Who looks at that guy and thinks, nailed it, that guy's smart? That guy knows about the dark shadows. And that guy knows that Rick Ross and Will Smith are working together to control you. So no, freaking absolute like person who belongs in a mental asylum is the president of the United States. 40% of the country is gonna vote for him. <laughs> okay, that, all right, anyway. So in terms of this particular rumor, so then why didn't they show up at the RNC? If they had some mother effing thugs on a mother effing plane, why didn't they unload and then come to the convention and cause damage or whatever they were gonna do? I mean, they apparently had weapons and they and they control all the streets. So why didn't they take action? Why didn't they take action in Montana or in Boise, Idaho, where the rumors started or, or in Washington? Cuz they don't exist. Your president is a lunatic. And if you support them, so are you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.